So we've already seen several examples of using the method of induction to prove a mathematical statement. We'll now look at an additional example, but this time where the mathematical notation is not given. We'll first look at the steps that we may take in order to use that expression to construct it and then prove it. So let my example be this. We want to prove that the sum of the cubes of three consecutive positive integers is divisible by nine. To begin with, let's just take an arbitrary example. So let me begin with the number one. One is my first positive integer. We need three consecutive positive integers. So the next number would be two. And the one after that, three. I'm looking at the cubes of these numbers. So let us cube each of the integers. One cubed, two cubed, and three cubed. And finally, I'd like to sum these cubes. So let us add them together. Now this gives me one plus eight plus 27. Simplifying, we get 36. And 36 can be written as four times nine. So this is divisible by nine. Let us try another example. Let's begin with four. And the one after that, five. And the one after that, six. Again, I want to cube the integers. So four cubed, five cubed, and six cubed. And summing them as so. Adding them up, I get 405, which can be written as 45 times nine. Again, this example is divisible by nine. So it looks as though my statement is true. Now I want some general case, some mathematical notation in order to use that in our proof. So instead of using a number, let's take n as my beginning point. The next positive integer would be n plus one. And the one after that, n plus two. In the same way as we did in the examples, let's cube each of the numbers. And finally, let's add them together. So this is now my mathematical expression for what we had up here. We're summing the three consecutive integers. I'm going to use this now to construct my statement P of n. So now, let P of n be the statement n cubed plus n plus 1 cubed plus n plus 2 cubed be divisible by 9. We want to prove that P of n is true for all n greater or equal to 1. So for our method of induction, we always begin with our anchor step. The anchor step is where we take some arbitrary case for n. Let us begin with n equals 1. So for when n equals 1, using this expression, we have 1 cubed plus 1 plus 1 cubed plus 1 plus 2 cubed. This gives me 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. And we've already seen this before. We have 1 plus 8 plus 27, which gives me 36 and again can be written as four times nine. So the case for when n equals one is true. We've shown that it's divisible by nine. Our next step is our inductive step. So for our method of induction, let us now assume that the statement P of n is true. That is that n cubed plus n plus one cubed plus n plus two cubed is divisible by nine. By induction, we want to show that P of n plus 1 is also true. So that's n plus 1 cubed plus n plus 2 cubed plus n plus 3 cubed is divisible by 9. Let me begin by writing my expression for n plus 1. So I have n plus 1 
cubed plus m plus 2 cubed plus m plus 3 cubed. Now in our method of induction, I'd like to include the expression for n within my expression for m plus 1. So let us manipulate the left-hand side to get the right-hand side in terms of n. So if we compare the terms here on the left-hand side with the terms for n, we notice that two of them are the same. Let us manipulate this in terms of n now. So writing n expression first, we have such. However, in terms of the left-hand side, I don't want to change the expression. So this additional n cubed needs to be subtracted. I also need to ensure that I include the third term here, the n plus 3 or cubed. So let's add that on. Now notice that the right-hand side still equals the left-hand side. Although now, the first three terms we know are divisible by 9. It's the case for n. So these are divisible by 9. I'm going to simplify that a little bit by just calling that 9m instead of writing those terms out again. So I show that it's got a factor of 9 within there. Then let's write our other two terms. Now all I need to do is show that these two terms are also divisible by 9. So let us multiply out the brackets and simplify. So I get n cubed plus n cubed plus 9n squared plus 27n plus 27. Notice that the n cubes cancel out. I'm now left with 9m plus 9n squared plus 27n. And finally, plus 27. Now, each four of these terms has a factor of 9. So let's pull that out. I have m plus n squared plus 3n plus 3. So the 9 has been pulled out, it shows that this is divisible by 9. So p of m plus 1 must be true. So we started with our anchor step. For our anchor step, we took n equals 1 and we showed that that was true. Our next step was the inductive step. So by induction, we've shown that the general case p of n is true for n greater or equal to 1. So my statement n cubed plus n plus 1 cubed plus n plus 2 cubed is divisible by 9 for n greater or equal to 1. This has been proved by induction.